the um, I would I would sort of flip the problem. I don't think we have a problem with the students being there. I don't think. I mean, they might need. There's this book called Art and Fear, which you know if anybody has read, has mm -hmm. loved this book. And it says the one nice thing about art is that it both frees and disciplines at the same time. The students might need a little training and some skills at some point, but they're there with the art, whether they're three-year-olds or the 20-year-old inmates that I was working with in the summer, they are there. So I think we, um, we might need to harness what they bring to us. I think I learned more this year when I was teaching art than I, I mean, I guess I gave something to, but I certainly learned things I hadn't expected to. So I, I'd almost like to flip the question and figure out how, how we can put the students at the center as far as their art practices are, no, no matter how funky they might look, and then and harness that and work backwards to create the curriculum, if we want to call it that, instead of doing it the opposite way. Uh, 